All right, next we're going to show you how to do some clay inlays on a guitar fretboard. I start by gluing on with a glue stick the template or the cutout that I had done earlier with the pantograph. So I've got all these fret markers cut out, trimmed. We're just going to take this basic glue stick and glue them on. Speed up the glue on process here a little bit. It's actually worked a lot better to put the glue on the piece of paper than on the fretboard itself. And then once we get all of these glued on, we're going to use the Stu Mac Dremel inlay piece. This is probably one of their best tools. By far, it's, it's the greatest thing to use. And I've got a bunch of different Dremel bits. Once the piece of paper is dried, we're going to go back with the routing template. And I think this is a 16th bit, maybe one size smaller. We're going to set this down a little bit less than an eighth. And we're just going to slowly go over the outline. I'm going to do essentially just an outline. I'm not going to do the whole thing with clay. I'm just going to do the outsides and a couple of the insides of the flowers. And you just go really slow with the Dremel and you'll see the dust build up. I'll just blow that away. What's nice about the Dremel attachment that they have here, you can put an air pump on it'll blow the dust away. Here I just blew it out of the way. And if you go slow, this actually works out really well. And we'll just speed this up a little bit. It's looking pretty good. And then we'll just do the middle here and route this out. Looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and move to the flower. Same process. Sped this up a little bit, but you just go slow, follow the trace. If you have the hand, your hands on both sides of the attachment, you can keep it real steady. I've got this template clamped down on the other side, so it's not going to move. This is really simple. You just trace the outsides of the lines with the bit, and you get a really neat inlay, custom inlay. One thing I learned with these clay inlays that you'll see moving forward is the router bit kind of rounds out the edges and you need to go back with a chisel if you really want a hard line and clean up the corners where the router bit was. So like on this larger flower, I would have liked to have a little bit harder of a line and I should have taken a small chisel and just cleaned up those edges. But this looks pretty good. So we'll just continue to go through and route this out on each fret. And as you get towards the edge of the fretboard, end of the fretboard, looks really good. We'll clean this out, vacuum it out. And these actually look pretty good. We'll just clean off the paper and get ready for the clay. So then we take this clay and work it together, roll it out, get it all broken down. There's lots of different options for buying clay. I pretty much purchased them all. I went with these female clays from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby's got a great selection of clay. I picked a pink and a silver with sparkles in it. I didn't really pick it, my daughter did. But you just roll the clay out, fit it into the crevice and then use a expired credit card or whatever to kind of clean it up. You can just go back and look at any of the spots that don't fit. And this is actually really easy to use for an inlay. I was actually really kind of happy with this. So kids thought this was Play-Doh and it was clay. Each piece of clay was about $2 and you can easily do a number of fretboards with that depending on how, how you actually do the routing. So here we've got the silver with a pink center. 
and we'll just go ahead and move down to the second fret to the third fret make sure the frets are cleaned out with any of the dust here I'm sort of alternating back and forth with silver and pink get a lot of different colors One thing I learned as I was working through these guitars, this fretboard has a lot of streaking in it. And as I went down to sand it, lots of those streaking showed up. So I've got a trick in here to turn the fretboard black. So stuff's available from Stu Mac or directly from Fibing's website. But you just take the clay, roll it into the crevices, push it in, you know, use a tool, make sure you get all the corners in. Really like that you can use different colors with this. It has a really neat effect. There was a blue sparkle clay, there's green. Definitely much cheaper than doing shell. Probably takes as long. I've done custom shell inlays. You know, those are solid one pieces. Once you get it routed out, it just pops in here. You know, this inlay is pretty intricate in terms of how I did it. So you got a lot of different spots to push the clay into. So then after I place in all the inlays, you have to bake it. And I've got the heating blanket set up. And essentially I just put the heating blanket on and bake this on. Let it sit for about an hour at about 200 degrees and that hardened up the clay. Didn't actually film that process, but I got some pictures here. So here's the clay all done. Went back and kind of wiped it off, made sure that it sat in all the right spots. Cleaned off anywhere that it got in the fret slots. So then here's the heating bank blanket. And like I said, I, I put a sheet of foil underneath it, put the blanket on 200, and just let it sit for an hour. And then here's what it looks like when it came out. The inlay is hardened up nice. I clamped the fretboard down in multiple spots as well so it didn't bend. But this actually turned out really nice. And then here's the Five Beings black leather dye that I used to actually darken up the fretboard from all the streaking. Had trouble getting all the inside in between pieces darker. I, I really used a, a paintbrush and just painted this on. But these inlays came out really neat, should have a really neat effect on the guitar, you know, taking the, the Paisley pattern and moving it into the fretboard. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my new website.